Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to see some basic utilities which are used in Unix. So let's start today's session. The very first utility we are going to see is how to present a data in formatted manner in Unix console. The second utility we are going utility we are going to see is nothing but how to send email using the mail utility in unix so let's start and have a look on very first utility nothing but presenting data in unix terminal in format formatted manner formatting utility to adjust the margins highlight some word etc we have to use this utility text formatters are n r o f T R O F. So these are the text formatters available. In order to format data on your Unix terminal, we have to use PR command. PR command does minor formatting of files on the terminal screen or for a printer. So we can format a data to view the data in Unix terminal or we can format the data to send that to printer for example format file on screen into two or more column we can use the command like this pr then option and file name the pr changes the format of file only on the screen and not on the existing or original file so the format is only changed on the screen or if you send that file formatted file to printer then it will be formatted so it will be two locations either in the screen or in the printer you will see the formatted file but the original file will not be modified the example of command is pr-2 to miss how many columns you want to create from your data hyphen h means do you want to give any heading to your file like in this case it is countries and give the name of your file so that means this heading will not present in your file the other options are k it produces the k columns for output that means what are the two here it's nothing but hyphen k d is for double spaces the output hyphen h is for header then you have to give hyphen h and then header name it takes the next item as a report header hyphen t eliminates the printing of header and the top and bottom margins L and the number that number will be page length it says the page length to given number the default number of lines of text is 56 hyphen O margin it offsets each line with margin zero spaces if you want to increase this margin you can increase by setting this hyphen W page width it says the page width by given number here we have to provide the page width with a multiple text column output only so let's see those command in demo so in order to show you demo we have created one file let me show you that file I'll do simple so you can see I have the file called as cat unix util.txt it has first name last name and id column the first name has the first Rajesh as the first name Sharma as the last name and id is 1 2 3 the Michael as the first name and Paul as the last name and id 3 4 5 now will format this file so in order to format file we have to use pr command how many columns you want to create so as this data is already formatted so we'll assume we'll create only one column so if we create two columns the next line will be moved under the next column so that is the reason we'll create only one column suppose uh, you want multiple columns of course you can create multiple column as many as you want so let's try with one create one column then what we'll do we'll set some header so in order to set header you have to use edge 
and give the name of header for example I give the it is customer information as a header then we can set width using W suppose I will set the width as uh, suppose 72 then you have to set length I will set length as suppose 20 and there are some other options we discussed that is nothing but offset how many what is the offset you want to set if I will set for 4 characters and then you have to give the file name and enter so you can see the file got formatted so you, if you notice so the first thing so this is the actual the header information how many pages if you have the multiple pages suppose here we have the length is 20 so that means only 20 lines will be shown here if you have the more than 20 there will be two pages created and you will see the page 2 so the customer information is coming from whatever we gave here in the header number of column is 1 so all information is mentioned in one column uh, then W is a uh, width if you increase the width so this is the width actually it is available if you increase the width it, it will be display accordingly the length is the length of page offset is 4 and the file name let's try to tweak some parameters now we'll try to change the number of columns and let's see what will happen so instead of 1 we make it 2 now whenever you make 2 the very so let me clear it and we'll call we'll execute again so you can see there are two columns created column 1 is first name last name id and you can see the rajesh and mine id and the second column will be this one so you can see accordingly now let's tweak uh, the width column so instead of 72 let's make a uh, 62 So, uh, but still we will change the column length so, so that the data will be presented accordingly. Now you can see the data is slightly changed. So it is one column and width is not affecting because the, the actual width is very less than 62. If you narrow down, suppose if I make width as a 10, let's see what will happen. So when you change the width, only the 10 characters will be shown. So the rest of characters will not be shown because those will not come under the 10. So if you increase to 15, assume that it will show some more characters. Let me see if I can increase to 25. now it is showing some more so till 25 these will be the characters you can change margin margins also suppose instead of 4 suppose if you increase to 10 so you can see so earlier is 4 margins like uh, this space you can see at the top and now the margin is more so this mostly uh, the PR command is used to format the data so that you can see in a better manner and there will be some other information about these utilities so we just saw the how to format the data on screen now related to the printing lp and lpr commands are used to send the data to the printer the command lp or lpr prints a file onto paper as opposed to a screen display once we are ready with formatting using pr command we can use any of this command to print file on the printer so first we have to format the file and then we can give the command lp and then file name assume that we formatted this is a file and we want to print this we have to just give command lp and the file name unix util so it will send to the printer right now my current system is not configured for the printer that is the reason we are getting the information saying that 
no default destination available so we have to configure the printer in unix system and then it will send lp command shows an id which can be used to cancel the print job or check the status right now as my system is not connected it is not showing the id but whenever we connect our unix system to printer it and if you send the page to print to printer then it will show the id of that printing job if we are using the lp command use hyphen n number option to print number of pages of copies which normally we use in normal day to day activities if you have the multiple pages we and if you are looking for only few pages to print then we can give that number with command lpr use hyphen nm for same so lp and lpr both are doing the same thing but they have some different utilities if these are multiple printers connected means that if there are we are using multiple printers are configured in our system with the shared network then we have to choose the printer using hyphen d printer option whenever you whenever we use the lp command and we have to use hyphen p printer option if you are using lpr command so if your command it changes the options name will be changing lp stat and lp q commands lp stat command shows what is printer q request id owners file size when the job were sent for the printing and the status of the request so let's start let's give this lp command and see what what is going to happen lp stat right now it is not showing any data that means there is no jobs have sent to the printer Uh, but uh, you can see the output like this so use lp stat hyphen o if to see all output requests other than just your own so if you give o option also you will give the printer name the username who is sending the request file size the date and what is the printer name on which it is going the lpq command provides more information like laser is ready and printing the owner or rank owner job number file name of file which is sent for printing and the size of file cancel and lpr m commands the cancel command terminates printing request from lp command so sometimes you if the file is too big and you suddenly found that you don't want that page to be printed then you can just cancel the job using cancel command and this lp if you are using lp command to print the page you can use cancel command the lp rm command terminates all lpr requests so for lp if you are using lp command to print you can use cancel command to cancel it if you are using lpr command to print then you can use lpr m command to cancel the job we can specify either id of that request or the name of printer so it will cancel that job so the commands look like cancel and the name of printer etc the lprm command will cancel the active jobs if the belongs to the user who sent that request otherwise you can give the job number as an argument or use a dash to remove all your jobs so you can give the specific job number and you can get that job number whenever you fire that command either lp or lpr now let's see mail command now normally in day to day activities if anything is going on in unix server we have to send notification to the various users so in order to send notification through email you have to use mail utility so when you root when you, if you want to test whether mail utility is installed or not you can just type command mal and it will you show if there is any email present in your email box so right now no mail for this given user mdm that means mail utility is working fine to send mail we have to use mail hyphen s and the given subject name 
hyphen c for users in cc that is carbon copy hyphen is hyphen b is for blank uh, for bcc user and then the actual user for which you want to send email hyphen s specifies subject on which command line hyphen c specifies a carbon copy to the list of users list should be comma separated list of names hyphen b sends blind carbon copies to list list should be comma separated example is mail hyphen s test message and the email id so let's try to send that mail so mail then as i said hyphen s is for subject line this is test email and then you have to provide uh, if you have any car uh, c bcc or cc you have to provide those option if you have bcc you have to send uh, bcc user list hyphen b bcc at test.com if you have multiple user like bcc2 at test.com then hyphen c for carbon copy cc at test.com comma cc1 at test.com and then your actual is if you if you don't have the bcc and cc then you no need to provide a hyphen b and hyphen c option like i will give the abc at test.com and this is the so after this if you enter the mail will go to the end user so what is happening right now it is trying to send email from my unix system to the intended user through internet network so if it is successfully sent then you will get the message in case if you want to abrupt a process you can just use ctrl c it will give the message interrupt one more to kill later you one more and the process will be killed so but it is actually trying to send the email to that person with the subject line this is test email now there are some other option normally we send email with some attachments how to send file as an attachment you have to send something like this to send the file through email you have to use mail hyphen s that is for subject line email id and the file which you want to send so let's try to send one email using mail hyphen s i want to send this uh, test email abc at test.com and you can use unix file and let's send it so this file is sent to the abc at test.com user if it is real if it is not then email will not be sent so these are the details about sending emails through unix i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand basic commands to formatting the data on your screen how to print the document and also how to send email through the unix commands thank you for watching my video and have a nice time